All right, got a Gobi ladder here. Just came in. Uh, this is going to go on my Nissan Xterra. So I'm going to do a mounting video here of how this thing gets attached. Uh, this thing is really dirty and I didn't feel like washing it. So I'll show you what I did. Um, on the top here, this wasn't actually too dirty. I just used some uh, prep wall and then I did the same thing on the bottom, approximately where the ladder is going to go. So you'll see where it's clean here. Um, I used what's called prep ball or it's like a wax and grease remover. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what I use. Um, stuff works really good for uh, prepping before you paint. And uh, I find it works really well when you apply stickers and stuff. And there's a lot of uh, tape, automotive tape that is used with this ladder. So that's the, the first step I'm doing is... Uh, prepping everything with this wax and grease remover and then uh, the next step is using that masking tape to mask off some areas All right, so one other piece of equipment I'm going to use here is this step ladder um, Just because it's gonna be too difficult to stand off the hitch and try to do this. So uh, after I had everything Marked off there with that uh, wax and grease remover. I used uh, tape this uh, painter's tape and it says to the directions are really really terrible it shows a picture of uh, measuring somewhere over here and putting a piece of tape and then you set your top plate here in um, and then just kind of masking tape it on and then you're gonna check it and then on the bottom here do the same thing the bottom one's actually not as bad because you got a nice seam here you can measure across from I'll find the directions here. I'll show you the picture. Okay, here it is. And the other thing is the, the directions show the entire thing as the driver's side, but this is the passenger side, and it says uh, use the direction for right and left ladder install. So it says seven and a half, and it shows a seam here. So I'm looking at the side of my vehicle. Where is the seam that they're talking? Are they talking the window seam? seven and a half over are they talking the seam up here the the side is seven and a half and then what i kind of did was just look at the mark that they have on the reference here for the tape and it's a little bit past where this bump out is so i took the seven from i think what is it seven and a half i took it from here from this edge over and i kind of split the difference with the tape on the diagram here they're showing that the mark goes all the way to the, the tape is on the inside of that seven and a half. And I just put the seven and a half smack dab, smack dab in the middle. And then it says to uh, the next direction is to set this plate in place without peeling the double side tape on the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is uh, set the ladder on the, uh, the, the gate here and see how it fits. So that'll be my next step here. Okay, so I just got it temporarily hanging from that bracket on the top there. Um, and it says to check uh, for desired location. Uh, let's see here. Visually check that the ladder is hanging vertically straight up and down. And make sure your masking tape markers are placed in place correctly to provide a desired final position. Um, I guess the, yeah, the, the tape is just to give you a reference of where you need to put the... Uh, actual uh, other bracket I suppose might be hard to find um, I don't know I think this looks good it looks like it's pretty straight up and down I don't know why how it couldn't be if you're hanging it off the bracket you know it's not attached to anything on the bottom it's just resting on the gate um, I don't know I probably could move it a little bit to the right if I want to split the difference on the the Nissan emblem it looks like there's a little bit more space here I don't and looking at this, I don't see why I couldn't. Just looking at the space here, I got a little bit on that masking tape. I could probably slide it that quarter quarter of an inch, maybe that's three-eighths of an inch over. So maybe I'll do that and we'll see. Okay, so here's what the mount looks like on the inside. I actually just moved it over a half of an inch because um, it was actually hitting the windshield washer little grommet there and the hose that comes up. So I moved it so that would clear, 
and then uh, it clears the hinge over here on the inside. So pretty sure that's where I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to bring this down carefully here because it's just taped in place. Um, all right. And then on the top here, according to this, it's just where it goes flat here. So it looks like it's still sitting flat. It's not up on this part that's cupped here. So, um, you know, maybe they took the seven and a half from the edge here and figured it over. I don't know. I could measure that and see once, but it may change my marking on the, the bottom there. I might have to adjust that to make sure that I get everything where it needs to be. Yeah, so my guess would be they're taking the seven and a half from the body line because when I line it up like that, that's pretty close to seven and a half. So they say to leave the tape on to give you a marking. I'm just going to take a silver Sharpie and put a mark on this thing all the way around so I know where it is, so I know when it's in place. Um, the double side tape that they got on here, that's some wicked stuff once you get it uh, stuck. So I'm going to refit the ladder one more time here and then... Uh, the next step is to uh, pull back the, take this back off and then pull back that double sided tape and then attach this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll probably hit this one more time with that wax and grease remover. They say to use denatured alcohol. I'm using wax and grease remover because it works good, works well. And then uh, I'm going to heat this up because I'm in the garage and uh, I'm going to take a hair dryer and heat up this, uh, not so much the plate, but the body of the the car here, the lift gate, um, to get it really warm so that the tape step sticks really, really well. Okay, so I just got done uh, sticking it. I pulled the paper. You can see where my uh, reference marks were here on each side that I made with the Sharpie after I took the tape off. Um, yeah, and it says press and hold. I heated not only uh, this up, but I also heated up the bracket a little bit to get it warm. Um, and it seems to stick pretty well. I got it tight. It says to keep this because it's kind of it's like a lip underneath here tight. And now the next step is to open up the lift gate, and then you install two stainless steel uh, Allen head screws. I think they're five eighths long. I don't know what the actual they're five thirty second or something like that. I don't know. Um, and it just says to put those in the threaded holes. You can kind of, I don't know, I should have a light out here. Can't see it with this camera. But there's two threaded holes in the bracket right here. There's one there. And then uh, yeah, you can kind of see the one in the middle of the frame right here. And you just bottom these out. I don't know exactly what these do at this point. Um, may want to put Loctite on these at a later date or after I get it installed um, just so that they don't back themselves out. It's nice that it's stainless. So that's one good thing about this install. All right, so this screw here, I got in no problem. And you can see there's plenty of space to get their little supplied Allen wrench in here. And you get it up in here and get it on. You can start the screw, there's plenty of room. Now as you come across where this one is, there is not as much space. And the screw doesn't want to go in. It looks like I screwed up the hole already, doesn't it? So, yeah, see? You, know, you can't see. I'll do it like that. Let's put it over here like this. There's not enough room. And you can see it as, as it goes across here, it opens up more. And that's just the way the lift gate is. To get this screw in here, the head is hitting the bottom here so you can't get the right angle to get the thing started and even if you could you're not going to be able to get the the allen wrench in there to get it so um i first of all thought i goofed up but then i'm realizing you know i'm close here and uh i'm just gonna leave that screw out for now if i bring the lift gate back down you can see on the top here I can't go over any further. That's, you know, so basically that's where it's got to go. Because otherwise you're going to hit that grommet for the washer or you're not going to be sitting flat here. And then I thought, well, maybe I didn't have it back all the way. You can see it's back as tight as, as, tight as you can get it here. It's metal on metal. So, um, I don't know. 
I might cut that screw down. Stainless doesn't cut so nice, but something's got to be done with that, or maybe I can buy a, a shorter one, but that does not work. There's no way that that's going to work the way it is, and I'm not going to spend all night screwing with one screw. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step was to install this aluminum pinch plate on the inside of the lift gate. That's just the fly with that double stick tape again. So I cleaned it, heated it, pushed it on. It doesn't say you should have the ladder on right now, but I just got it set on there so I could make sure that my, I got my reference marks exactly where they need to be. So it's kind of a little bit of an insurance pop. Okay, so before I put the ladder on here, uh, you can see there's a hole in that weld. Um, I'm not so much worried about the structure of the welds. They look like they're adequate, but um, that hole that's going to trap water, salt, dirt, um, eventually I'm, this thing is going to rust. There's no way around that. The finish on it seems pretty good, but that, you know, and even like this weld on the bottom here, they really got it gobbed on, but that hole like that, that, I don't know. And it looks like there's another hole over here, too, in this one. We'll see. We'll see how it holds up. But uh, there's a little dent in here, too, the way it feels. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, so that's before we get it put on here. All right, so the ladder uh, I mounted. So the next step was to, after you're getting that aluminum strip on, you pull off the self. Uh, adhesive or the double stick tape on the ladder part here. I'm getting ahead of myself and attach it to the lift gate. And then this next part here, I just jumped ahead to is putting in this plate on. So this plate bolts to the bottom of the ladder, and then these set screws are what pushes against that aluminum plate so you're not against your lift gate. So that's what that looks like here. I got a Reference the directions one more time to see what's going on here, but I don't want to bring it down because I don't have the tops not bolted down either yet, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now Okay, so the next part you do here is you mount these they call them button bolts you Mount those tight or tighten them down and then the set screws, you run those up against the pinch plate and then tighten this nut, which is a 7 16 wrench size. So it's snug. So this is probably something you're going to want to keep your eye on. Um, this also, I don't know if that's stainless. To me it doesn't look like it. It probably isn't because it's on the inside. And I'm not exactly sure where that's going to hit either. Well, we're going to find out here in a second, I guess, when I close the gate. Um, these are stainless, which are nice. Um, and then we got a couple pieces of hardware left here, um, which was going to be for the top. So we'll uh, attach the top here. All right. Uh, so in the directions here, the last step is to put these on. And it says to, uh, boy, I wish this would focus better. Install. Oh, it was there for a second. I'm using a different camera here. There. Oh, oh. It was there for a second. Install washer. I'll just read it. It says install washers, lock washers, and nylock nuts B4 to the ladder um, to hanger plate C. Well, guess what? I don't have lock nuts. These are just regular stainless steel nuts, and these are split washer lock washers. So I don't know. Directions may have changed. These washers here, you can kind of see they're cup shaped, and there's a like a rubber neoprene on these. Doesn't say anything about how to install these, but I'm going to use some automotive engineering here. And you can see how this is kind of cupped up. So if I push this down, which it pushes really hard because that rubber must be in the hole. I really need to get a tripod for this camera. Make life so much easier. So I'm trying to do stuff in real time here all the time. If I screw it on, it'll go down. Okay, so there we go. Just kind of spinning it to get it down. That will now sit on there nice. It also says do not over tighten these. So I don't know how these, if these are just uh, welded in. So that rubber would go down, would be my assumption. You're going to put your split uh, lock washer on and then put your nut on the top like that. 
And then what I would do is just crank it down until that lock washer is flat. I wouldn't go crazy nuts because honestly this ladder can't go anywhere on the bottom and it's hooked on these studs. So as long as you keep an eye on it, it's not like it's going to go anywhere. So uh, let me button this thing up here, finish this, and then I'll give you my final remarks on this whole uh, install and process. All right, so here it is. This is a uh, finished install. So this is a Gobi ladder for a Nissan Xterra, 2015 Nissan Xterra. Uh, it's a passenger side ladder, which they make a driver's side, which would mount over on this side, and it's a little different. I don't have a rear backup camera, so I don't have any visibilities. I was wondering if there was going to be an issue with this. There's not. You can get to this, no problem, to open it up. Um, they say that you may need different lift, lift uh, struts for lifting the tailgate. Um, maybe. I'll be honest, mine are weak to start with. Uh, there's about 11,000 miles on this car, and it never really lifted it all the way up I'd always have to give it a little push so instead of ordering them through Gobi which I thought was like a hundred bucks um, I think through McMaster car you can get a strut that'll work with this you can go with a, a one that lifts more and I don't know if it's like a 200 pound or 150 pound I don't know so um, overall I like the way the ladder looks I mean really that's the only reason I got it because I like the way it looks. I mean, it looks cool. Isn't that why we do everything? Um, it will be functional too. I mean, you can climb up on the thing. I've already been up on it once here. So there, I'm on top of the ladder now. So it seems really sturdy. Um, I'll try to here before I fall down and break something. Uh, looks like it'll hold up pretty well. I don't know about the finish, how long that'll stay before it uh, starts rusting. Like I said, it had those weld marks. Overall, it's a, a pretty nice product, I guess. I paid $215 for it shipped um, through a company called, I think it was Trail Duty or something like that. It took forever to get here. It was at least six weeks. Uh, I finally went ahead and just emailed Gobi directly and they said, yep, it's going in the mail today, which I thought was strange. And then uh, three days later, it arrived. So, yeah, it's not a bad... Uh, bad unit here it looks like it'll serve its purpose um, but yeah I don't know the, the good and the bad uh, that screw I never did get in I think I'm gonna go to the uh, hardware store and just get one that's shorter I'm not gonna try to force that screw in there because it's just not gonna go I think I uh, actually boogered up the threads a little bit trying to get that screw in there so yeah you oh yeah I can see some thread issues there and that's like almost impossible to get in there to uh, re-thread re that or even run a chase in there but again I got one in here and that just pinches against the frame of the car why didn't I put a pinch weld piece in there too that actually would work out well but yeah and it could be the bend of this maybe just isn't exactly right but you can see the gate the space on the, the tailgate here it goes from less and opens up and that's why you don't have an issue but I can't go any further to the uh, passenger side here because I'll run out of space and any further this way I'm hitting hitting the uh, washer pump thing so so yeah that's what it looks like uh, oh a couple reasons why I did this is uh, I don't know I make videos I guess very uh, poorly poorly really poorly put together videos but I also, uh, I didn't see anyone with an Xterra that actually showed how to do it. I mean, I didn't show you a step by step. I kind of showed you what I did. And then, uh, you know, would take video of it. I didn't do any actual of me installing stuff. So there it is. If you got questions, let me know.